Hey guys, it's Andrew and Pete here. Um, this is a slightly different video to usual because we have just finished interviewing Deborah Meaden from TV series Dragon's Den, which is probably, I don't know about you Pete, probably the most nervous interview that we have ever done oh my so God. far to date. My heart is like pounding. <laughs> yeah, Pete's internet broke like literally right before we had to reboot Zoom. It was a really fun start, but yeah. I, I think it went as well. <laughs> straight away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought we might get this interview Malaki. <laughs> I feel like it went fairly well though. And guys, do you want to see it? Let's rewind the tape and let's show you what happened when we just interviewed Deborah Meaden. Hello everybody and welcome. You're gonna have to pinch me because we're talking to the one and only Deborah Meaden. Yeah, I'm really good. That was quite a build up. <laughs> <laughs> Pete's bringing the energy for for the morning, isn't he? He's, he I must have had his coffee today. <laughs> I'm loving how you two have kind of matching backgrounds as well. I'm feeling a little bit of plant envy going on right now with my boring wall. Plants are good. They they give us energy. They do give us energy. They give us oxygen. They give us you need plants. Although I'm pretty sure Pete's a fake, so I don't know if there's any oxygen coming there, from those. There's some real ones over here, but yeah. There is, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you ratted me out. <laughs> I'm <falling> about on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's jump into this interview. So, Deborah, Atomic is for small business owners, and we know that you invest a lot in small businesses, and that's one of your passions. What's your favorite thing about working with small businesses. You've talked about my passion, but actually I get that passion because small business owners, they, you know, they're usually full of energy, they're very committed, they're totally passionate about the thing they do, they love the thing they do, they're flexible, they've got a good nose, you know, they, they're, often it's where I go to, to test the market because they're so connected to their customer that, you know, you can talk, you can talk through all the research as you like in the world, but talking to a small business owner who actually sees their customer every day, you'd get a lot of information from that. So no, it's just it's the energy. In the energy. All right. I like it. What is your advice for small business owners trying to stand out in this world where, you know, they're forever against bigger competitors? How, what's your advice to small business owners to stand out? Presume it. Thing, that they have a you know they're, they're credible so they've got all of their system you know the engine room is working so that they can deliver the product I always turn it on its head and say I talk to big businesses and I say you need to remember that you are a small business that got bigger because if you lose sight of the fact that you, you need to behave in a very personal way and a very, you need to be very flexible and you need a good, all the things I've just talked about, good nose, good judgment, those are all the things that small businesses have. And, and, and my advice is to remember that. Remember the advantages you have over big businesses. And it is, it's, the, it's that direct connection, um, it's the flexibility, and boy, are we going to need to be able to read a situation and respond to it really quickly coming out of our current situation. Small businesses are very, very well placed to take advantage of that. I love that. Yeah. I feel like a lot of guys need to hear that as well. I think sometimes they'll look at businesses that are maybe further ahead than them and they'll feel bad about themselves rather than remembering what is actually so special about being a small business and all the great things that we could do as a small business. Would you well, agree? There must, there must be something special. When somebody starts their business for it to, for it to work, there is something special about their business. And it's, it's weird, as people grow their businesses, sometimes they turn into this other animal. They all get a bit heavy and a bit fat and a bit slow and a bit sort of disconnected from everything. So, you know, guys, don't forget what you got. I like that, talking to your customers and stuff. Like, I think actually, I think a lot of people are scared of that though, sometimes. Well, you shouldn't be in business if you're scared of talking to your customers, should you? I mean, you should be, you should be out there and proud and shouting to your customers, look at me, I'm brilliant, you know. Love it, love it. Deborah, we're also really, really excited to welcome you to Newcastle for our annual conference, Atomicon. When was the last time you were in Newcastle? And are you excited to come back up north? Well, I am. And I hope I'll get a bit of time to, to actually have a wander around. But the last time I was in Newcastle, I was actually doing Strictly Come Dancing. No oh, way. Wow. No. So when we drove in, I was a little bit terrified of Newcastle. But the people were lovely. Yes. Um, 
Deborah, yeah. we actually have um, Jazzy Shirt Night is our th is our themed party at the Tomicon. So I don't know if you've got any old Strictly costumes, but I feel like that would fit right in. Uh, so <laughs> have I got some old Strictly costumes? <laughs> <laughs> we don't keep the dresses. Oh, uh, damn it. Was, you, you could have won the competition for the Jazzy Shirt. <laughs> Is this true? We heard that one of your favorite sandwiches is like a whole chocolate bar in a sandwich, like in bread. Is, is this true? And do we need to add this to the Atomicon lunch menu? So yes, is the <laughs> and it's not any old bread, it's cheap white bread. I mean, we're talking no nutrition whatsoever, but I've gone plant-based and dairy-free. You so have. Now, yeah, so oh. I can't have cheap chocolate in cheap bread anymore. I have to have dark chocolate. Dark chocolate? Oh. Oh. That might be slightly out of the budget, Pete, now, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Dark I don't know. We're going to have to do some numbers here. Pickled <laughs> gherkins. That's another thing I love. So there you go. Get me some. Pickle. Okay, pickled gherkins in the pickled dressing gherkins, room. Pickled gherkins, some fancy chocolate, some fancy and bread. And some cheap bread. No, some cheap bread. Easy. Deborah, it has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for Thank spending you. some time with us today. I know everyone is super excited to see you at Atomicon, and Deborah, we will see you there. We will. Bye. See you there. Thanks, guys. Deborah. <laughs> Thank you. Woo. There we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Deborah, if you are watching, thank you so much for being so gracious with your time. We really appreciate it, and I'm sure everybody watching really appreciated it too. If you want to come see Deborah Meaden live at Atomicon, then make sure you join Atomic now for the current offer. The link is just below this video, around this video, and we would love to see you there. Come see Deborah, come see all of our amazing speakers, and come and enjoy the whole experience. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Hey, I need to lie down now. Me too. My heart's still going. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that, guys. See you soon.